Well, fish heads, what's happening? Hey, it's Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. It's early. I made it out before I had cut on the AC out here in the shop. And we're just going to get right into it this morning. I've got some stuff that I haven't painted in a while. I've got some stuff that I love to paint over and over again. So this is a Colorado Craw. It's actually one of the first patterns that I put on the website. Love that blue in it. This is an old school crawl pattern, but it's still with the shading. Love the shading. And there are times when, when a true black is just perfect to add in that detailed shading, make those crawl segments kind of jump off of the bait. The calico crappie kind of looks like a cow. It's a big one. This is that fat papa. You guys by now should have already seen this video. Try to get them scheduled to upload in order. So we're recording right around July 12th. You guys should see this within the next couple of weeks. Love the shading. Distressed crappie. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Should have already uploaded. I think. I hope. If it hasn't, it will soon. So, the explanation on that, we do a upload scheduler. And that means that I make a bunch of videos when I have the time to make a bunch of videos and then they just get scheduled so that there's consistent releases for you guys so that you don't go days and days without viewing. Um, and that helps me be consistent. It also helps you guys get some fresh content just about every day, most every day. This is that dusted shad. nine-piece order plus a shirt going out for Chris Goucher waiting on hooks and shirts hopefully it'll be out soon the extra sexy shad on this fat belly lipless also one of my favorite patterns and this uh, eye is from or the eyes are from John over at Jetson you can find him right there jetsonlures.com This is the Grim Reaper. I normally do this on like a Pop Max style. Sorry about that. I just fist bumped the camera with my other hand. It's almost uh, like a pickerel type pattern. A little bit of gold on the face. And then somewhat of a fire tiger. Red throat. And that beautiful KBS shine. But yeah, I, I would say this would also make a pretty decent pickerel pattern. But on the website, it's called the Grim Reaper. The little blind bass on a wart. Blind bass meaning the white eyes. You'll see those on occasion when you catch them. And you guys have been knocking the fire out of this red discus. And you guys see the pinwheels? And the, we haven't seen those in a while. So I was cleaning out one of my drawers and came across like a bunch of them. And we, these were being used real, real heavy, this eye, um, in the custom bait business a couple of years ago. But then I stopped seeing them. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. It's, it's typical of me in the morning. I stopped seeing them. And I don't know if they weren't distributed or what the deal was but nobody was carrying them I don't know if anybody is now I'll have to check around to be honest I haven't gotten eyes in a while but I'm getting low to the point where I'm gonna need to order again so but this is I always loved this eye and it fits really really well on these wide lip square bills because it's got a bigger eye socket on these and I know uh, at least last time I checked Brian over at Dinger is in stock with the good version of this the version that I prefer so I'm excited I'll get to order some hopefully the next go around this 
I call on the website, I call it an imperial craw. The, really, the bottom has craw segments, but it's just a, a different take on it. It sort of looks molting or decaying. Also, some three-dimensional properties. Just a fun pattern to, to work with. And if you're wondering what stencil I'm using for that, this is an old Art Tools. It's uh, made by uh, Awada Media or Medea, uh, whichever you pronounce it. And you can find it on Amazon. I know I've got a link below if you guys are looking for that. This is the FX Mini tool, just for really good detailing depth effect. But yeah, it just looks like the whole cross segment is decaying off of the off of the crawfish. And then I've got a four piece that's going out. This is an imperial craw. A little bit of iridescent purple in that, mostly white, some blues. And this is one where I do the segments backwards. I overlap them. Normally when I do a craw pattern, I go from the front all the way back on this one. We start with the back and then go forward. It's just a different kind of an overlap, and I think it looks kind of cool. It's one of my favorite patterns to spray. I say that about a lot, but I, I just love spraying. I just love seeing how it's going to turn out, and I know you guys do too, which is why you're sitting here with your coffee or whatever time of day it is. Thanks for the view. Watching what's going on. And the reason that I really enjoy doing the shop updates, not to just toot my own horn, but I'm trying to give you guys different ideas like I can't, if I could do spray sessions all day, every day for you guys, I would. But I try and go into a little bit of detail about how I did something without going into like a 20 or 30 or 40 minute spray session. Just to kind of give you guys ideas. Because sometimes we don't, sometimes we just get into a vapor lock. And it's like, oh, I have no idea what I want to spray or how to spray it. So this is simple. It's just pearl white on the belly, very trans, translucent, transparent, working up into a little mint, and then some moss green, and then an overspray um, with that stencil from Anarchy, Brian. And then shot with Detail Black Magenta. Now Detail Black Magenta on top of green clearly, has, it warms it up a lot. It isn't that purplish color. It almost gives it that kind of metallic brown color, but it's just really natural. And, it, and when the fish is coming through the water, that shine makes it look like the scales are popping off of that bait. And then two of my very first patterns that I put on, I still have them on the web because a lot of people don't want the real intricate patterns. They just want colors. So this is the Briar Creek and the Lemon Drop very simple patterns and you can see again and it's a color shift that purple that I'm using the German purple um, it's a phenomenal color shift because it just disappears you can see it's not there and it's there it's not there and it's I could do that all day I'm just geeking out really hard on this on this iridescent purple but purple is a really good trigger for fish too I don't know if you guys know that but um, use it use it when you can whenever it looks good on a pattern. So that is all the news that's fit to print for you guys this morning. I hope you guys have a phenomenal day, evening, afternoon, weekend, weekday, whenever it is you guys see this video. Thank you so much for the view. I really, really appreciate it. You guys mean the world to me and I try and give it back when I can. I will talk to you guys on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.